Hi, my name is Deb Marnie and I'm from Aussie Mail. Welcome to our Chain Mail tutorial channel. Hey guys, a big hi, hello, welcome, how are you? I'm so pleased to see you today. Thanks for popping in and spending a part of your day with me. So today I've got just a weave tutorial and um, it's the, now I'm not 100% sure of the pronunciation, so in my mind, I pronounce it as the Gnosis Weave. Now, I don't know if that's right, I haven't Googled it, I probably should have before I started the video, but never mind. Uh, so that's the weave we're going to do today. Its base chain is half Persian 3-in-1, and it's quite a simple um, bracelet or weave to start with. Alright guys, that's enough chatter. Let's get on to it. Okay, so here's some sample versions of the weave today. Now I've done this in um, several gauges for you. So I'll um, list these up on the screen, but I will also point them out to you um, while we go. So our first one here in bright aluminium is 14 gauge AWG or 1.6 millimeter diameter wire. And the ring size I chose for this one is 8.5 millimeter ID. Now the 16 gauge one, I've actually got two size versions because when I originally um, started looking into this weave, I wanted to do it with color. And in our 16 gauge AWG, which is 1.2 millimeter diameter wire, I first tried um, 930 seconds which is about a 7.14 millimeter ID ring because the um, entry in Mount Artisans mentioned that they used a 7 millimeter ID ring, which is this one here on the red. Now it worked and it worked nicely, but I felt that it was a little bit too loose, a little bit open and that I could go down perhaps a little bit in the aspect ratio. So I then tried the quarter of an inch in the same gauge, 6.35 millimeter ID, and I enjoyed this more. It, it gave it a nice denser feel. I tend to like my weaves a little bit denser. Um, so I, I think this personally is the one that I liked best, um, but the slightly larger ring works also. So the aspect ratio for quarter inch is around about 5.5. And um, unfortunately, none of the other anodized aluminium rings that I had on hand had that same aspect ratio. So even though I did try some different sizes in uh, the different colors, I didn't quite get the effect that I wanted. So this is the 18 gauge AWG, which is one millimeter ID wire. And this ring size that you see here in, in the bright aluminium is five millimeters and that works really nice. So this has an aspect ratio of around about the 5.5, similar to the quarter of an inch. And as you can see, it works really nicely. I had to try it originally three sixteenths or 4.76 millimeters in an attempt to get some color into the weave. And I don't know if you can quite tell, but it doesn't sit well. I mean, it, it kind of works but it doesn't sit straight. The colored rings are a little messy, a little haphazard. Let me get that out of the way. And they don't, they don't lie nicely. Whereas these rings here, these ones right here, line really nicely in the weave. These ones here, as you can see, are jagged and they're all over the place. It just doesn't quite fit. You can do it if you really need to have color, but it's not my ideal. So I tried again in the 20 gauge AWG, which is a 0.8 millimeter diameter wire. And I tried initially in the 530 seconds or 3.97 millimeter ID rings, which is the closest I had to the ideal of about 5.5 that I was shooting for. So again, we've got the same issue um, those green rings you can see aren't lying nice and straight. Some of them are all at angles. Whereas this one, which is 4.25 millimeter ID, all those silver rings 
there across the top are lying nice and straight within the weave. So although, as I said, if you really do need to have colour, you can use the 5 30 seconds in the 20 gauge and the 3 16 in the 18 gauge, it doesn't give an, an ideal look in my books. So just to reiterate all those sizes, because hopefully I didn't confuse you too much. So 14 gauge AWG, 1.6 millimeter diameter wire, ring ID of 8.5. 16 gauge AWG 1.2 millimeter diameter wire you can use 930 seconds which is 7.14 for a more open look or my preference a quarter inch 6.35 millimeter ID for that more denser look. In the 18 gauge AWG 10 millimeter diameter wire I would recommend 5 millimeter ID and in 20 gauge 0.8 millimeter I recommend 4.25 millimeter. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate this today in the 1.2 millimeter diameter wire so that we can see it in the two colors and it makes it that smidgen easier to follow. So I would suggest um, closing about half of the rings that you're going to use for your main color, which in this case is the bright aluminium. Um, you'll need you don't have to do them all at once, but you are going to need at minimum three closed to start this weave. So we're doing half Persian three in one left leaning. Okay. And to do that, I'm going to take my three pre-closed rings. So remember, these are the quarter of an inch, 1.2 millimeter diameter wire rings. And I'm going to feed them on to my twist tie. So if you've got a twist tie, um, you know, a bit of wire, a paper clip maybe something like that um, to hold on to it just helps with starting this weave the hardest bit of half Persian 3 in 1 is starting the weave until it becomes stable so we want to put these rings together so that they stack from left to right up behind each other like this so we've got rings one two three and you can see they're stacking from left to right behind each other. What I then going to do is take up an open ring and the two things we look for in Persian weaves specifically are this overlap here of the two rings which we call an eye and we've got two maneuvers. We can go through that eye where we place the ring directly through there or we can go around that eye where we place the ring through here and then comes back up through here and it goes around the eye. So for my first ring, I'm actually going to place it through the eye that's formed by rings one and two. So it just goes straight through those two rings. Okay, close that up and I'm going to flip that over to my left. And your work should look like this so you can see we've got it just going through those first two rings okay so when placing rings in half Persian 3 and 1 that are fully in the weave we're taking one ring and we're putting it through three and the way I remember this is we go down through one two so we go through the eye there that's caused by rings two and three and then we go up from the front to the back and we go through one ring and that's that ring just there number one so we're coming down through rings two and three through that eye we're going around the eye that's caused by rings one and two and we're just going straight up through there so down through two and up through one that's what I remember when I do half Persian three and one so we go down through one and two and then we go up through one making sure we stay on top of the ring that we placed previously in the weave once we've got it in there we close that ring up and our work should look like this so now when we go down through two rings what we want to do is we want to take our open ring we pop on one of our pre-closed rings this becomes ring number one so that's down through one two and up through one 
making sure it stays on top of the ring that we just placed previously. So you can see it's not going through any other rings, it's just going through that one ring. And we close that up. And then we've got this dangling ring here. So we take up another opened ring. We pop on another pre-closed ring. That's ring number one. So we go down through one. The dangly ring becomes ring number two. And then we go up through the next ring like that. Okay, close it up. And you just keep doing that for the length that you need your piece to be. So taking up an opened ring, popping a closed ring on it, that becomes ring number one. So down through one, two, that's the loose ring that's on your weave. Give it a little twist and come up through the next ring in your weave. Close it up. Okay, it's as simple as that. So down through one, two, up through one. Okay, once more. Down through one, two, and up through one. So you just keep going the length of whatever your weave it is and then to finish it off so you'll come towards the end and you still have this one dangly ring here now you can either take that off if you like if you've reached the length you need and you don't need an extra ring or what you can do is you can take another open ring this time we don't put the dangly ring on but we still go down through one and up through one And that helps finish our weave off nicely there. And then what I often do is I just take another twist tie, um, put it through that other end. It just keeps it all nicely in place. Back here at the beginning, I would remove the twist tie from the beginning and then pop it through my first two rings. Locks those rings in place and gives you nice little handles to hold on to. So once you've got your half Persian three and one left leaning in place, and we know it's left leaning because when we look at the top of this weave here, we can see our eyes here, um, which are these bits just here. These bits just here, they are leaning from right to left, right to left, right to left, okay? That's how we know it's left leaning. All right, so to change this from simple HP three and one to Gnosis. We take up this time one of our anodized aluminium rings and we're going to put this ring around the first eye that we see here. So to do that we're just going to go through this space there straight through to the other side like that on the other side of our ring and we're going to do the same on the next rings. And what I find is if you grasp your weave and give it a little squeeze so it sort of bunches up like that, you can very easily see where your ring needs to go, which is straight through there. Okay, close that up. And that's your ring in place. So you can see that it's just gone around the eyes. It hasn't actually gone through any, uh, through the eye or anything like that. It's just gone around the eye. So to place our next ring, we're gonna skip the next eye and we're going to place our next ring around the third eye here. So in exactly the same way, take up your open ring, go through this space just here Okay, straight through to the other side. So your work looks like that. And then turning your work around, and as I said, I give it a little bit of a squeeze. And that gives me a really clear path of where I want to put the other end of my ring. And then close it up. And there you go. 
So half Persian three in one you can wear either way. I consider this to be the top of the weave and this to be the bottom or the back of the weave. But you can wear this either way um, and just get slightly different effects. So again, just showing you where the next ones go. So we would skip the next eye and move down to the one after that. Put our new ring straight through there. Okay, so we're picking up those two rings just like that. Twirling our work around, giving it a little bit of a squeeze and then just going through and picking up those two rings there. Okay, close it up. And that's it guys. That's as difficult as it gets. So you just do that to the get to the end of your piece and um, Bob's your uncle, you're done. So I'll just put my final one here into my tester size. Now with the twist tie on the end there, because I've got it locked down quite tight with the twist tie, this can become a little bit more difficult, but it's just the same. I like starting and finishing with that um, extra ring right there on that first and last eye. If you don't like that, if you want to start from the second eye and then do the fourth, etc., etc., totally up to you guys, whatever you like to do. But that is it. That is how you weave um, the gnosis, or how you pronounce it, weave. All right, guys, well, that's the tutorial for today. I hope you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up here on YouTube, share, comment, all that good stuff. If you're not a subscriber, maybe you might consider doing that for us. Uh, check out some of our other content while you're here. We've got plenty of videos on here um, that you'll be able to watch. And last but not least, guys, don't forget to give our little shop link up here a bit of love. Uh, the more love you get, the more likely we are to keep going with these videos. All right, guys, I hope uh, it was of help to you and that you enjoyed it. And I'll catch up with you again sometime in the very near future. Bye.